So to create your log file, if you create a new notepad document or text document, and if you just open that document, and what you're going to type at the very top of the document is a full stop or a period, and then the word log in the uppercase. So I just type the word log, and then I'm going to save this text file as whatever name I wish. I'll save it on the desktop and I'll call it um, personal log entry. So if I click save, you can see now that that text file has been created. I'll just delete this one here. So now when I open this file, it will create a timestamp for the time it was open. So if I open this file now, I'll just press enter on my keyboard to open it. You can see it has the time 2046 and the date, today's date. So I can just type in some information, let's say today's log entry. And I'm going to press enter or return twice in the log file. If you don't, it will enter the next timestamp right underneath your entry, right here on the next line. Um, it can be a bit difficult to read sometimes. Um, if you're doing it this way so I'm just going to press return twice just to make it more readable and so if I click save and if I close it again and if I reopen the file I'll just double click and you can see we have another timestamp and the time is now 2047 today's date and just enter some text enter or return twice just to keep that format and then save and close down so you can see how it has an advantages for third-party applications to record certain information um, it could be used uh, for academic or business purposes it's a very useful tool and I hope this has been a useful video for you all thank you for watching use my box and I'll see you again on another video soon. Bye bye.